Uh, already qualified Super Eagles of Nigeria will square up against Guinea-Bissau and Egypt will have a date with Sudan. And still talking about the Super Eagles, uh, defender uh, Chidozia Awaziem uh, could get his first taste of action at the Nations Cup when the Super Eagles take on the Wild Dogs of Guinea-Bissau. This follows his recovery from injury a day before Nigeria take on their opponents in Garoa. That will be later this evening. With a chance for some players to feature in the match, coach Iguavoin says Nigeria will play for the full three points. Awaziem is taking part in the second Africa Cup of Nations tournament, having featured for the bronze winning Eagles in Egypt in 2019. There's a really good positive um, feeling in the team. Um, the group is a very wonderful group. Uh, everyone helps each other. We, we all carry each other along and uh, I think it's a really wonderful group and uh, I know with this, with this feeling and uh, with this I know we're going to go far. All right, uh, well, Baba Femi Raji, that's the media officer of the Super Eagles, joins me live now uh, from Agarua, that's all the way from Cameroon, to give us an update vis-a-vis uh, -vis Eagles' preparation uh, for that game against uh, uh, Guinea-Bissau. Well, Baba Femi, very pleased to see your face this beautiful Wednesday morning. Uh, tell us, yeah. uh, just give us an uh, idea of um, what the preparations look like uh, for the um, Guinea-Bissau game today. Oh, yes. Um, preparation has been top-notch. We were good. Uh, by 10, p uh, 10 a.m. this morning, we'll be having breakfast. And after breakfast, we will have our team walk and, uh, at uh, 1 p.m. And then team talk immediately after lunch at 2. And uh, we'll start preparing to get to the stadium from 6 o'clock. We've had a wonderful preparation for this game. We've had uh, several tactical sessions, both on the field of play and off the field of play. Um, a lot of uh, video analysis has been done as usual as we prepare for the game. And also there's been uh, a lot of lessons or classes with our team psychologists and everything, uh, we're mentally strong and fully prepared for the game today against Guinea-Bissau. All right, uh, we, I'm sure Nigerians will be, uh, you know, very happy to hear that, uh, you know, the Eagles are very well uh, ready for that game. Well, tell us, Egwavoyen, the uh, interim coach of the Super Eagles, uh, hinted that we might see some fresh legs in the game against, uh, you know, uh, Guinea-Bissau. Um, is that what it's going to be? Oh, definitely is, is the guy, he talked about it, he said uh, not a uh, uh, wholesome change, maybe one or two, uh, because uh, whether you like it or not, uh, the team chemistry must keep growing with the tournament, and we take every game very serious. Every game matters to us, um, aside wanting to win the AFCON uh, on the 6th of February, we also consider our rankings, uh, uh, talking about our FIFA rankings, so we want to keep playing and winning every game. So one or two changes we are called for, like the coach said, during the pre-match uh, presser yesterday, so one or two changes. All right. Well, uh, we do understand now that Awaziem, uh, of course, is back from injury now. A day before uh, Nigeria would play Guinea-Bissau, uh, no doubt we are likely to see him uh, in that game ag uh, against Guinea-Bissau, wouldn't we? Uh, well, I uh, always uh, draw from what Coach said at the pre-match presser yesterday. He just re uh, returned. He, he was ill. And then, uh, but the ankle sprain already uh, gone already, but uh, it was okay. Uh, I just trained once with the team, and that was yesterday. If he's going to be selected, if the physios or the coaches feel is good to go for the game today, fine. If not, uh, we still have other matches. We still have uh, the round of 16 game to play. We're still going to play the quarterfinal here in Karua. And we still will play in the semifinal in Douala. We still have the final in Yaoundé. So uh, we still have games to play. So uh, and the good thing is, is back and it's fully fit. Okay, uh, we, in in the uh, training videos that we've seen so far, we've seen, uh, of course, the uh, players poking fun at one another, uh, indicative of the kind of spirit that is in the uh, team at the moment. It's is that what it still is at the moment, uh, heading into uh, that game against Guinea-Bissau. Definitely. The unity here is top notch. It's, uh, it's world class. Um, and it comes from the heart. That's because we all are resolved that we want, we are here to win the AFCON. 
So it means uh, together we, we, we want to achieve more. And that's the team. T-E-A-M. Together, uh, it achieves more. We want to ensure we do that together in love, in understanding, in total, absolute discipline, and then also getting to follow the instruction of the coaches. So yes, the players are very, very united. Uh, in and res the, res the res resolution right now is to win the AFCON. So that's why I find them. And when, it, when they have fun like that, it's just getting to show the chemistry in the team, the love in the team. All they want to do is just get to the field of play from 8 p.m. today, beginning this hour after 90 minutes, get to the next phase, beat our next opponents, and that same love and that same spirit. We want it to keep continuing to qualify even for the World Cup in March. Now, uh, Garoa has become more like a home city for the Super Eagles. Tell us about the support that Eagles are getting uh, from fans within that city. Amazing, massive. In fact, this is home. Amazing, massive. Uh, if not for COVID restrictions, trust me, I bet they won't even come into a hotel where, where we are. Wonderful. Whenever we're going for training, you find them by the roadside waving, cheering, you know, show the outpour of love is really intense. And we really appreciate everyone right here in Garua. Uh, Garua will remain a home for us because we've always been very, very happy whenever uh, we're around. If not for COVID restrictions, I'm sure if the gates of the training pitches or training pitch uh, were thrown open, they will come in in their numbers. But due to COVID uh, protocol, we can't have that. But the love has been uh, intense, immense, wonderful. We want to thank everyone in Garua here uh, for the love they've shown. The super All right, Teb Bafeme Raji, media officer of the Super Eagles, uh, talking to us live from Garua and Cameroon. Thank you very much and they giving us an update vis-a-vis -vis Eagles' uh, preparations for the game against Benebisau. Thank you very much indeed.